Hey, hello. Can everybody hear me okay? Hold on. I have to mute that. Hello. Hello. Let me see. I might need to... I don't know how to get this lighting to go pretty well. Let's see. Where did I put my... I'll get started here in a couple of seconds. Just gonna blast it out on Twitter and uh, on our space. Uh, hey everyone. Hey. Good to see you all. A couple of familiar names in here. Just need to... Yeah, I just need to see what's up with this camera because it doesn't look good. Uh, let's see. I think... Let's see. Yeah, I just need to see if I can wipe it off, but we'll get started here in a couple of seconds. Um, as it says, we're here to talk about the uh, the filter system on Inkblot. Um, just kind of running through a tutorial with that. Uh, go ahead and um, do all of that. And then what we'll do is uh, open it up for some questions or discussion um, regarding the filter system um, because it is not... Uh, it is not uh, very common, so um, it's definitely something that we want feedback on. Um, but there definitely is uh, some some things that won't change, uh, and we'll go over that and the reasons as to why, and um, we'll go over that. Yeah. So, uh, but yeah, just uh, give me a couple of minutes here just to make sure everybody gets a chance to join us, and uh, we'll get started. Thank you for those that continuously showing support and uh what give it get, you know there to support and also to attend these streams it means a lot um so i appreciate that a lot Yes, uh, good point. Yeah, it is uh, very rare. I'm trying to get this camera quality. Uh, but yeah, it is very rare. Uh, something that I think is, is pretty vital um, for the team and, and for uh, the con continuation of this platform is to make sure that we have a direct line of communication, transparency, and constant updates as well, you know. Um, it, it's definitely uh, needed, well needed. So, uh, something that I can, I will be continually, you know, doing and providing, uh, for as long as I can. <laughs> Just one second. I'm trying to see how this light, this lighting going on in here is killing me. Oh. <sighs> 
don't know if it's the camera. Whatever it is, it's bothering me. Anyway. Maybe that'll do it. Who knows anymore? Yeah, the light's my enemy right now. We'll see how it goes. As long as you guys can uh, hear and see, maybe we don't need 4K quality. <laughs> Already here. So I need to get the stream here on the Inkblot website, since that's where we'll be doing our quick tutorial and just to run you down um, basically being able to like hear the thinking and the thought processes to you know why certain things were put in place and things like that um, but yeah this was a this is just a quick tutorial some of you probably already know how to use the filter system um, some of you maybe you don't and you're new to inkblot and don't know how to use it um, but yeah Hey, Lucky Duck, thank you so much for the follow. Oh, I see uh, Raiju and Starboy. Thank you so much for the follow. Um, definitely, uh, if you follow you follow this channel, you'll see all of our live streams. Um, we have our Q&As, uh, all of our uh, community town halls, um, things like that. So this is where we do most of it. Um, Gottlieb. Gotly Art, that's a familiar name. I've just never said it out loud. <laughs> Admiral uh, Craven, that's another familiar name. Welcome in. Thank you for the follow. Um, yeah, so uh, yeah, we do all of our community halls here, all of our uh, Q&As. We try to keep it all in one spot. Um, that way everybody can uh, attend, try to make it as accessible as possible. Um, and then uh, also just, uh, you know, basically we had it, so we, we did some trial and error, right? So like, you know, there's a lot of you that are new to us, but for some of you, you know that we had did like a, uh, we had did a, uh, a, a community hall on Zoom and that was like very interesting. Um, and then we, when we moved to Twitch, then it was like, oh wow, this is so much better, so much easier, more comfortable. And um, yeah, so <laughs> basically, um, <laughs> yeah, Twitch is the best way. Um, we went ahead and uh, yeah, we, we, did, we did a lot. <laughs> a lot of trial and error with that. Um, but we, we're, we're here now, <laughs> that's all that matters. Um, let's see, what am I looking at here? I wanted to change this over. It will it let me? No, it won't. That's okay, we'll cancel that. Um, but yeah, we did a lot of trial and error. Uh, we started on Zoom, then we went to when we came to Twitch, and it's been the best result since. What was the meaning of the recent Twitter poll? I just wanted to see genuinely what's what is, what makes up our community, um, and who who is our audience. You know, um, I'm a hobbyist artist. I pretty much was making inkblot for hobbyist artists, but I mean, it doesn't mean that it, you know, it, we could be a one size fits all in, in terms of helping out other folks that are not just hobbyists uh, or, you know, so, you know, it's, it was just basically research. That's it. <laughs> Nothing else behind it. Sorry. <laughs> it was just me being curious. Um, yeah, that was just me being curious as to who makes up our community and um, just kind of help and see what that is. So, uh, mostly a, a marketing and, um, you know, kind of like a research thing in terms of, uh, you know, who's, who's on our platform. Thank you so much for the follow code Argent. Thank you so much. I'll be lurking since I'm working on things, but glad I was able to make it. <laughs> Thanks. Zfang Arts. Thank you so much for making it. Uh, you, I remember that some streamers can shorten usernames, but the most part, if you're talked to, except your full username, or at least the first part of username to be spoken. Oh, I just remember this. Oh, right, yeah, I'm gonna try to do the full username, um, like King says here, um, but if it is a little easier for me to say the first or the second half, um, definitely let me know, so. Um, but yeah. 
Uh, thank you so much for everyone following. It seems like we've got um, a good group in uh, just to kind of get started here. Um, thank you so much for the follow. Cat's Gambit. And is it Queezy's? Uh, Queezy? Art, queasy art, or uh, Kizzy art. <laughs> um, thank you so much for the follows, guys. Um, but yes, uh, let's get started here. Um, that way we can uh, go, go into the Q and A. I will say that we are going to. Um, I'm going a little gently into this. Um, yeah, I will go. Uh, so I will say I'm going gently into this with this disclaimer in the sense that, you know, uh, let's keep the chat, you know, uh, PG-13 and stuff like that, because there's, there's no way of telling, you know, who on um, Twitch is under 16 or not. Um, as you all probably know already, Inkblot is 16 plus. We do not allow anybody under 16 to join our website. Um, that's personally, that that's, that's something that I put in place. Um, and that's pretty much, that's in our terms of service as well. Um, will we be changing that? No. Um, so, I mean, you know, we all will become more than 16 or, you know, we will grow to be 16 plus at some point in our lives, but at this time and point, we are not changing that rule whatsoever. So, um, yeah. So again, uh, let's keep the chat, uh, PG 13. I do know that the filter system does discuss NSFW, um, in more sensitive topics, but, uh, when we get into that, just, you know, let's keep, be mindful, um, that there's no way of telling who in this chat or who is viewing, um, is, uh, underneath 16. So, um, or 18 years old as, as well. Cause you know, NSFW. Um, so anyway, that's that. And then also basically, um, we're keep when I send out the anonymous the anonymous box it won't it won't well technically it's not going to be an anonymous box um, the reason why there will be no anonymous box for this Q and A is because we have had so many emails and so many comments um, on our Twitter and just emails in our support box um, it just uh, even D Twitter DMs that have been very harsh very rude um, very uh, you know, not very nice um, because of our content guidelines and what we uphold um, and how we're moving with those. So, um, you know, I'm not I'm not here complaining. I am just here that I do not want to have um, a stream that that's you know affecting my mentality like this because of the content guidelines. That's business. That's what we're doing. Those content guidelines aren't changing. So um, when I do put out the Q and A, you will have to provide your username. Um, on Inkblot so that I can make sure that this is not someone that is trying to get into, um, try, trying to, to, to ask a question that can be, you know, potentially harassing us. I mean, that's, that's kind of what it's been. Um, so again, you know, I'm just going to be doing that so that, you know, I can maintain a good headspace and also not, you know, get get too upset um, because of the things that we've been experiencing over the last two weeks as our team um, has been answering questions. So hopefully everyone's okay with that. Um, I'm so sorry, usually I'm okay with the uh, uh, anonymous box. I know some folks just, you know, they don't wanna, uh, you know, have their username attached to a question because they genuinely wanna ask something with good intentions. But uh, again, we've been seeing some, some very, uh, very rude emails um, in, in some, some very discouraging stuff. So, um, that, that's the, that's the facts and that's what's going on <laughs> with, uh, that uh, box and why it won't be anonymous. So when I put the Q and a box, um, there will be a slot where you need to put your, your link, um, for your, uh, for your inkblot username. So, uh, or your inkblot profile and, uh, we'll just go from there. Okay. Um, that way we can have a good stream and we can, uh, we can work on the thing that, uh, our community is using and everyone that's agreeable with our content guidelines is, you know, <laughs> our community um, is using and, and, you know, everyone, we're just trying to make these filter system uh, better and improve it. Uh, but we do need to start with uh, just a tutorial uh, with basically talking about like, okay, well, this, this is here for why and this is here for what. So um, you'll see me doing that in just a few seconds, just trying to find my, hmm. Media, nope, not the media, game capture. Yes, that's what we want. Select the source. Mm -hmm. 
And is uh is the music okay? Is is everything okay with the music and everything? Um, just want to make sure it's not too loud. <laughs> All right. See you later, Gottlie. No, oh, there was no. There is no music. Oh. Oh, yikes. I wish I, uh, I don't know how to get the music. Desktop audio, maybe muted. Uh, is there music now? Cause, can you hear that now? Oh, it died, okay. Okay, no music, okay, one second. Maybe it doesn't really matter. Maybe it's something I'll play around with. <laughs> if uh, I am not using OBS, I'm using Twitch Studio, so brand new. Don't really know what's going on. <laughs> um, but let's see. It seems like I thought I, I've never. I haven't changed anything about it. But uh, maybe maybe later. Um, but okay. I, let's let's. Uh, Let's pretend there's music. <laughs> um, I see it on my thing here. I see I have a little lo-fi here. Uh, maybe it's too low. I don't know if it's too low. I'm just going to turn it up a little bit, see how that works, OK? Um, but otherwise, uh, we'll get started, music or not. Um, we, we do know. Yes, the music of our hearts. Yes. Yeah. Headbanging to imaginary Britney Spears. Correct. <laughs> Um, but everyone can see the Inkblot website. I think that that's what matters the most here. <laughs> Is that correct? Okay, cool, 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 cool. Awesome. Alrighty then. Um, so let's, let's get started with that. Okay. So, um, basically just running through this tutorial is not going to be, uh, too much going on. Obviously I'm not going to put anything crazy up on here. Um, but we're going to just run through the basic tutorial of like, you know, how, what you can expect when you're posting, um, some sensitive media. So sensitive media on Inkblot is considered anything that's adult content, um, whether, uh, or sensitive, uh, sensitive, you know, um, topics, things like that. Um, because NSFW is not just explicit artwork, right. Or explicit content. Um, so it's, it's definitely, it, it doesn't have to be explicit media for it to be NSFW. It's anything that's not safe for work. So this can include anything like, um, like, you know, uh, set the hard topics. Um, you know, I won't go ahead and keep saying that, but like things with like, uh, violence and things like that. And, um, you know, just some topics that aren't, has nothing to do explicitly with adult content, which in that terms, like porn, things like that. So, um, we, uh, also have the gore there as well. So that's other considered, that's considered sensitive media as well. Um, and then we also have our creator spoiler, which is kind of the things that don't fall, uh, they don't fall in either of those categories. So that's basically how that works. And I'll go in depth on that, but we consider sensitive media, basically things that need a more, more mature audience, um, that require, uh, you know, somebody that's more mature in their life to understand and to be able to handle and, um, and uh, digest. So that's what sensitive media f means, and that's why our our our, um, our uh, you know our filter or our toggle is basically um, is underneath the sensitive media thing. So um, that's that's the start. So let's just get into this tutorial, and I'm sure the thoughts will come along here. <laughs> um, let's see. Good. Okay. So we have this here. So uploading my image, obviously I'm just going to pretend, um, that this is something that's sensitive media, right? So, um, just going to, you know, title here and stuff like that. And, you know, we walk into that and that's the normal, that's the usual description, uh, just describing it, whatever. I'm just letting me know, Hey, you know, here's this thing I got. Um, this is what's going on and, and blah, blah, blah. So, um, this is our hashtags. Now we, it really should be a little bit better in the sense of saying that this is the hashtags. Um, but I, this, this does lead me to a point that I do want to mention. Um, yeah. 
Yeah, I'm not going to be going on the trending page, uh, Nubular Rabbit, uh, only because there is people that don't follow the rules um, and NSFW pieces end up on there. So, um, yeah, so I, I won't be doing that. Um, but no, I appreciate the heads up a lot. Um, so, so yeah, so basically, you know, this area here, we, yes, we should say, okay, hashtags, you know, input your hashtags here. Um, and that's what she would do here. So, you know, hashtag and whatever, hashtag and then two, whatever. Um, we did take into consideration some folks that wanted to have it so that there was a comma, a com when you hit the comma button or when you hit the enter button, it'll still do the same thing of, um, you know, you hitting the same buttons, we'll do the same thing and we'll hit that enter and hashtag populates or whatever it, it goes in. Um, so that's that. So yeah, of course we need to dis just put a disclaimer or put a, a little bit of a side note here, like, Hey, put your hashtags in here. All right. So from here we have the post options, correct? So here is our NSFW toggle. And then we also have our Gore toggle here. And then we have our creators toggle here, right? So we have these three things that will kind of, that will essentially ask for content warnings, right? So another thing that I, feedback I've taken is that, uh, you know, we have here tags. So immediately, yes, it, content warnings are totally different from tags. Um, right, to, uh, content warnings are totally different from tags. So. Um, I know this is probably basic information for most, but I've got to go over this. So hashtags are for discoverability, for searchability, basically, even if that is a word. Um, that is for how people find your work. That's for, you know, that's for the, the social aspect of things, the, the exploring aspect of being able to find your work on Inkblot or on places like Twitter and Instagram. That's hashtags. They are different from content warnings. Content warnings are the same things that you see when you're about to watch a movie and they say, hey, there's going to be nudity in here. Hey, it's going to be smoking. It's going to be drug use. It's going to be this, this, and that. Those are content warnings to let the audience know that they are essentially, um, you know, this is what you can expect when you go into this movie. This is what's going on. It's going to be violence. There's going to be this. That's content warnings. That's a warning, which is not a tag. So again, you know, our bad for having the tag mentioned here in this placeholder text. Um, so, you know, that's definitely our bad here. Um, but I do think that despite it all, there does need to be kind of a more of a, a hint that content warnings are different from tags. We've had a lot of cases or, you know, warnings that we've had to send out where folks are thinking that content warnings are actually hashtags. They'll set, they'll say us like, Hey, this, this violation warning is, 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 um, is wrong because I put all my, I put all my tags uh, in everything, all my content warnings in the hashtags. And that's not what that's for. And I, I've had this discussion with our team about, you know, um, you know, what's the thought process going into the content warnings versus the tags. And a lot of them have expressed to me that, you know, places like Twitter, where there, where there hasn't been a content warning thing or a filter system, um, has kind of allowed people to continue to think that, you know, putting the hashtags, putting those content warnings or those topics in the hashtags has now become, content warnings has become hashtags essentially. And that's not how, what it is. Um, so they are two different things. Yes, we have here, it says content warning tags. Yes, that's our bad. Um, but either way, the filter, the hashtags, the content warnings, they are all separate things and they are all three things that make up our content warning system. Uh, our filter system. So, um, you know, but again, uh, I can go, I'll go on about that all day, but um, so this is just the content warnings, um, just to let people know, you know, what are you getting into? And, you know, the thought process behind this is also, we're not looking for, you know, you know, there's, there, there's the, hold on one second, the cat's got a ball. get that back when I'm done. <laughs> no, that's too much noise. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, but yeah, so basically, um, you know, 
that's it's it's okay to put the content warning like to put topics uh in the in the hashtags if that's what you want if if you know if you want to put in there you know what have you a specific kink uh for nsfw that's fine that's searchability but do not put that you know don't put don't think that the hashtags is all anyone needs you know what i mean um they still we still need to have the content warnings and stuff like that um and 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 things like that so you know, yes, that's fine. And, and my, I think my point before I went to go get my cat um, is that, you know, we're not looking for anything crazy. We're, we are looking for the, we're looking for what am I going to see when I open this up? I don't, I do not care if you put furry. I don't care if you put human. I don't care if you put monster. I want to know what's, what am I getting prepared for when I hit the view button? That's what I want to know. And so again, just like the movies where it says you're going to have a possibility of seeing nudity, violence, drug use, things like that. That is literally what it is. Uh, what's going on in here? Okay. Sorry, just making sure chat's not not getting out of control here. Um, okay, yeah, that's literally what those are for. So the content warnings is literally us saying, please tell me what can I expect when I come back when I when I open this up. Okay, when I when I when I come back on the on the on the drawing the curtains, please let me know what's behind the curtains. That is all it is. We're not asking for rocket science. Not asking for a thesis. Just let us know what we can prepare ourselves for. So, um, yeah, that's 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 all that that is really, um, and that's that's what the content warnings are for. Um, that's that's the difference between the hashtags and the content warnings, and also the the thoughts of when we when we ask for them, um, we can go ahead and do that. So, okay, so. Um, that's that's that let's finish here so um so the difference between so that's that's the content warnings right and we asked for three of them right and i know that some folks have been saying like hey i need more than one i need I, let's let's i can't do more than one i can't do more than one i know you can do more than one i absolutely know you can i look at the hashtags and we've even had folks say i need i need you to put the limit to 30. Because right now we have, I think it's 15 or 20, and they're asking for us to increase it to 30. I know that one of those hashtags in there could also substitute as a content warning. I know it. I know it. So us asking for three is certainly not <laughs> asking for a lot. Um, I think that, you know, there is definitely on, uh, only a few ways to skin a fish, um, but you know, we, we have to be mindful so, and also make sure that our posts and our con and our uh, artwork and our creative works are reaching the correct audience. So people are also able to go ahead and um, are also able to mute your content warnings. The content warnings that you use, they can also mute a um, can also mute those content warnings so that post doesn't show up. So there is like a background system. So this system is also connected to our mute words and tag system. So not only does it mute people, not only does it mute the hashtags, it also mutes the content warnings. So that's why we are asking for the content warnings. I know, I know that you can please do three. I know you guys can do it, please. I'm just asking for three. If I was asking for 10, okay, maybe, but I'm asking for three. And I, again, I don't care if it says furry. I do not care if it says human. I don't care if it says some type of specific kink in it. I don't care if it says fluids. Please just let me know what I can expect when I open this. That is all we're asking. I know that we need to have more of a better way of explaining this thing so that it doesn't make people feel like we're asking for a lot. Um, it's, it's broad. You can be as broad as you want. Just make sure that you aren't saying nudity or NSFW, or gore, if it comes to the gores. Why is that? Because there's also artistic nudity, and we have that in our content guidelines, and we do outline that 
nudity is fine without having an NSFW as long as it's artistic and doesn't ex you know have explicit uh, you know content such as you know explicit uh, positions or you know I'm not saying explicit positions more like okay let's just be honest Ex explicit sex right so um, that's that's what we're looking for. So you cannot say nudity. We're gonna go ahead and hard code that in there since a lot of folks will go ahead and put NSFW as a content warning when it's already filtered as NSFW. Um, I don't quite understand the logic with that. Um, I think that, I think there's, there's some type of, maybe, you know, something's not, maybe, maybe we need to go ahead and explain that a little bit better or, you know, have a tutorial when you cut on um, the 18 plus, um, account filter. Um, and again, uh, I know I'm talking a lot. I'll look at the chat in a second and go over some questions or whatever you guys um, are discussing in the chat. Um, because I do know that, you know, I'm talking about quite a few different things here. Um, but again, that don't put NSFW as a content warning. That tells me nothing. That doesn't tell me anything. Uh, like like I said before, NSFW can be adult topics. It can be it can be dark topics. It can be you know things that you know as as an adult I need to be prepared for and that I can digest and consume. So that is not putting NSFW as a content warning is not what we're looking for. So putting nudity as a content warning is also not what we're looking for. So um, you know these putting gore in there for the gore filter is not what we're looking for. When it comes to gore, go ahead, put blood, put, uh, go ahead, you can put fake blood if that's what it is. Um, you can put cartoon blood, you can put uh, knife, sharp objects, you can put teeth, you can put, you know, the subjects that are actually in the piece. If it's, you know, uh, two, two humans trying to attack or be violent against each other, then go ahead and, you know, uh, say that human, uh, blood, uh, fight, you know, basically anything but gore or exactly what the actual filter says. Because as soon as you cut this on here, when you cut these on, it's automatically marked as such. And so I, let me go ahead and run through this really quick. So I need to make sure that I have uh, all three of my content warnings in there. So this one will be, let's say that, test, and here, okay? So please, please don't do this. Make sure you're using the content warnings correctly. Um, and I can go ahead and post this. All right, so when I take a look at my profile here, these were where the content warnings show up. And this is what I was talking about with drawing back the curtain where, I, you know, what can I expect when I go in here? Obviously this, this doesn't tell me anything, but this is a test drive, right? So when I open this, it shows me that it shows me the post. If someone had, you know, monsters, if someone had furry or had humanoid or, you know, dragon or whatever, you know, um, behind here, I'd be like, oh, a dragon's back here. That's awesome, you know? Um, so that that's what that does. So this, that little tag right here, this is that filter. It automatically says that this is NSFW. There's absolutely not one bit of necessity for me to put in the content warnings that this is NSFW. Absolutely not. I don't, I don't need to do that. It's automatically tagged as such. And therefore, why would I need to put that in the content warnings when, again, putting it in the content warnings would not help anyone, the viewer, not one bit. So again, look at this as, um, look at this as um, basically through the eyes of the viewer. Like what, what am I, what am I doing with this? What am I trying to, who am I trying to reach? I know that I have a bunch of people that like this kink, or I know I have a bunch of people that like, you know, the really bloody gore or, you know, the really, the, the eyes popping out or, you know, the, the severed head or whoever, right? For gore, severed head, that's one. For gore, uh, you could do, go ahead, put blood. For gore, you can put, you know, again, you know, what the subject is, human, or, you know, if there's a monster back there or something like that. So um, these filters definitely help with, uh, it helps with both the gore and NSFW. So the content warnings are required for NSFW and gore. So I'm going to go ahead and skip back over here and go back to our post options. 
so the creator spoiler will also do this as well. So even if I were to just take off these three and I'm like, hey, you know, um, I got something that only has a little light blood um, or you know what, I'm, I'm one of those creators that doesn't really like to, uh, to just throw artistic nudity out there. I just want to make, it's not something I do all the time. I don't always draw artistic nudity. I feel a little uncomfortable, um, you know, having my followers or supporters look at, you know, um, to, to, to just throw that out there. I'm just going to go ahead and put artistic nudity as a creator spoiler. So, you know, this is the case. This is the only case where artistic nudity is okay to put nudity in there because this is not something that is going to be underneath the NSFW because this, this post doesn't fall. So it's artistic nudity. It doesn't fall. It's not explicit. It's not talking about this. It's not gore. So the, the creator spoiler is more of like a miscellaneous type of thing. Um, I know I'm using it with artistic nudity, but you can use it for comics, fan art. Um, you can use it for, you know, n not all gore is like, you know, includes minor blood. So if it has a little bit of blood in it and you just like, hey, I just wanna make sure folks know what's going on. It's just a little bit of blood. Um, then you can put that. Um, but this is for that stuff that doesn't follow underneath the gore and NSFW. So let's take a look at how that looks when we do that. Boom, automatically the NSFW tag is gone. And if I had it marked as gore, that would be gone. Um, but why is it still filtered? Why can't I see this? because the creator spoiler also sp uh, blurs out this image until we have this. So until you hit the view button, that's when you'll see it. The creator spoiler is not for NSFW or gore or sensitive media. It is just for, I don't want everybody to know what happened in the last Dragon Ball Z episode. Maybe some folks didn't watch it yet. You know, I was definitely there at the premiere of it. I was there at one o'clock in the morning and I'm the first to see it and I want to post about it, but I don't want to spoiler anybody. That's what the creator spoiler is for. So that, it works the same if, you know, now I already hit the view button, so it's not gonna view, not gonna blur it again. Um, but basically that's what that is for. Um, and that's kind of the, that's the difference between using the core and an NSFW. So I've talked quite a lot. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and go in the chat here. If you got any um, questions or you were mentioning some things, let me, let me take a gander. Uh, let's see. Don't want to, don't want to mute that. Okay. <clears throat> Alrighty. So let's see. Mm, submitted a report. And I, okay. I love that feature. Got tired of clicking. Oh, and what might I say? Uh, oh wait. So before I get into it, um, with the comments here on the chat, um, we did go ahead and have it so that 18 plus accounts will automatically have the NSFW, uh, turned on by default for their posts. Um, we'd rather you just, you know, um, unclick it rather than you forget to click it. Um, because again, we, even though we are 16 plus, we do still have minors on the site, you know, 16 and, uh, and, and 17 are minors. So, you know, we still need to protect, uh, you know, both sides of this. We don't want, uh, artists to get in trouble for, you know, uh, 18 plus accounts to get in trouble for, uh, having their content, uh, viewed. Uh, by minors, and we also don't want minors to view that uh, to be in adult spaces. So it's it's this whole system is to allow for both sides to be protected and safe and get to the audience that they need, um, and then obviously for the minors to wait your turn <laughs> and just 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 grow up a little bit um, before you get to this. Just stay a kid for a while before you get to that point, please. Um, so yeah, so the 18 plus accounts um, automatically they get the. Um, Um, automatically they get that uh, NSFW filter turned on. Um, and again, this filter right here, this is our filter. Uh, again, we do need to make some improvements in kind of like saying like, hey, NSFW filter, Gora filter, things like that. So yes, there is some ways that we need to improve this to make it a little come across better. Um, but, you know, um, those 18 plus accounts, we do have... Uh, some users, uh, quite a few actually, um, I'm, I'm quite surprised, um, where they they only want an adult audience. Not because they're posting something that has explicit sex in it or anything like that. Literally, I, we've have, we have users that just post safe for work stuff and they just want an adult um, audience. They just want adult followers. They don't, they don't want anything, um, they don't want to have any, uh, you know, 
people underneath 18 that's that's like you know viewing their content and it's not because of the subject but just because they that's what they prefer and you know i honestly think that that's okay that's fine you know you you need to find the audience that you want to that you want your art to be uh digested by okay you need to find the folks that you that were going to support you and they love your stuff and and you know but you know your your target audience is also the one that you have in mind um so if that's adults 100 percent fine you can use the 18 plus and so it works both ways um you know it, you don't have to you don't have to post nsfw um in order to have an 18 plus account okay um you can that that'll just have your work only exposed to uh users that are 18 and above okay um when you do have an uh, 18 plus account you're um you know and let's say you post safe for work and you also post um you also post nsfw too but you know um you 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 basically have like an audience that's only there for safe for work stuff like hey man i love your stuff you know and, you know let me say I'm, I'm talking to myself at this point okay um, you know, hey Jay, I love your stuff, you know, but I'm not really into your NSFW. Like, I don't, I don't really vibe with that. That's not what I'm here for. Cool. That's fine. You know, Jay number two, um, you can just filter out NSFW and you'll only see my safe for work stuff. Well, you know, Jay, you, you know, your stuff is, your, your account is marked 18 plus. So, you know, I, you know, I thought that it would just censor everything. No, no, it's only 18 plus because I only want to have adults look at my stuff. But if you don't like the NSFW, Jay number two, then you can also, um, you know, you can also filter that out and only see my safe for work posts. Really? Oh, I didn't know. So that's how that works. You know, the whole skit aside, um, that's basically how that goes. So your safe for work stuff will still reach everyone even if you have your 18 plus marked account, basically. As long as you mark the NSFW post as NSFW, then they won't see that if they, that's not what they want to see. So again, this filter system is also for adults who also prefer to maybe not seem, you guys, you guys are too funny. J number two seems like a chill dude. <laughs> okay, you guys, I'm trying to be serious here. Um, but yeah, you know, it's, it, it can work both ways, you know, in terms of like if you post safer work and NSFW and you have an audience that wants to see just the safer work, um, then, you know, you could they can do that as long as they put on their in their settings, the NSFW. And as long as you tag your NSFW posts, it works out for everyone. They can still follow you and, and, and be OK. So that's where we have it so that folks can go ahead and still use the same account all for one thing. Um, and still reach reach their audience, um, regardless if they like their safer work or only their NSFW and stuff like that. So um, we do have the switch accounts feature already. That's built in already. That's there. You can make two accounts. Again, you cannot use two accounts on the same email. So yes, you do have to make a separate account. But after that, you can go ahead and switch between the two accounts. Um, and we have our little switch account feature. Let me show you that here. right here boom and switch accounts i don't have my other account uh on this computer um but uh basically i would just put in uh my other account information and just type that in and it just i've switched between the two seamlessly and easily we also have that on our mobile devices as well so that's all set and ready to go um yeah that that page needs to be cleaned up a little bit maybe it should be like add another account um but you know we got to think about these things. Um, but yeah, so that's what that looks like. You can switch accounts and have fun. Uh, we're going to go ahead and have it so that uh, the f free users can have three accounts. And then we're going to have it so that pro members can have up to five switching between five accounts. So um, it's possible. We just limited it to two because, you know, we were in closed beta at the time and we made that. Um, but it seems like there is some demand for folks to have more than two accounts. I have no idea, um, but we'll up the limit. It doesn't really matter to me. Um, so yeah, you know, uh, I, I think that it is okay to be able to um, continue to have, uh, you know, all your artwork, safe for work, and NSFW on one account. But we also realize that you know, some, maybe some folks don't want to do that. So go ahead and have a switch account. That way, you know, you don't have to have the one account because as soon as you make one post of NSFW, it has to be eighteen plus. 
the whole account has to be marked 18 plus no matter what, okay? Even if it's just one post. So, you know, go ahead, make your switch, make your two accounts. That's fine. We got the switch account feature. We'll continue to work on that and, and you know, make it a little bit better um, and, and go from there, okay? But um, that's, that's pretty much, uh, that's how that works. Let me get into these. Uh, into chat here and figure some things out. So if you have any questions, um, go ahead and put it in here. Um, I will go ahead and post the uh, Q&A box so that if you don't wanna ask your question in the chat, that's okay, I got you. Um, but again, as I mentioned earlier, you will have to provide your Inkblot uh, profile um, before I read that question out loud. Um, as mentioned before, um, the team has been getting a lot of rude emails and DMs, and um, we've just been getting a lot of uh, a lot of emails about our content guidelines and basically how people don't like our content guidelines and that we should change it. They're not changing. Um, it's not budget. I'm sorry. Um, so please, please don't waste your time harassing my team about our content guidelines because they're not changing. So. Um, Go ahead, uh, find, find another space, find, find another website, uh, another platform that also allows um, what you enjoy. Um, I, I really encourage finding spaces that support whatever it is that you are looking for. Um, but don't harass my team and waste our time reading rude emails about that, okay? Um, they're not changing. That's it. So, um, again, that's why this stream is... We're not going to have an anonymous box like we normally do. Um, we're going to go ahead and um, just have it so that when you submit a question, you need to provide your Inkblot uh, account profile URL link. And um, I'm just going to—I'm only going to uh, pay attention to folks that are actually using this website um, and are agreeable with our content guidelines. Okay. Let me see. Promotional tags versus descriptive tags. I mean, mm, Hika. Uh, I mean, that's that's kind of. I mean, that, that's very true. But I don't want to. We we want to stop looking at it with tags. You know what I mean? Like we don't want to. We, we want to like stop. I know we've we've been saying it wrong, um, but we definitely want to start walking away from content warnings being considered tags. They should be warnings. That's what they are. Um, but that is, that is very good. If that's how you put the, between the two, then that's, that's that. Um, okay. Nebular, I just thought I would let you know something. I'm not sure. I guess I'm only concerned about people using my profile pics. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So the profile pic, so Nebular Rabbit. Yeah. Great point. The profile pic should not have NSFW. Um, we're not going to be as strict as Twitter where you can't even have like a, like a, you know, like something that is erotic in your thing, but just make sure it's not, you know, genitals or anything, uh, no body parts. So, okay, this just, let's not do that. It needs to be safe for work. That's already in our content guidelines. So please take a look at those. Um, and I'll put it in the chat in just a second. Okay. Uh, I think a little description under the warnings will help people navigate and use them. Yes, definitely. Mist Wolven. Yes, that's definitely the suggestion that we need to do. Um, and I'm going to be adding those in there very soon. Hashtags are the city sign or street sign, and the content warnings are the sign saying caution. Very true. That's great. Ari, uh, I'm just going to, is it okay if I call you Ari? I know you mentioned it earlier. Let's see. I'm going to see if I got, I thought you mentioned it earlier. Oh, chat won't let me go up that far. Oh, it does. Okay, cool. Uh, Ari X? Arix? Arix, maybe? Hopefully? Ari, Ari or Arix? Okay. Yeah, Ari. Yeah. Good, good, good way of that. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay. So let's see. Uh, not sure. If, uh, okay. Thank you for confirming that. I just want to say thank you for making Inkblot. I love that I can make a banner. <laughs> no problem, tax fraud. <laughs> kind of like a disclaimer. Yes. Disclaimer. That's a great, yes, yes. And that is Scoobus. Yes. That's great. That is a great way of putting it. I got you. I was about to ask. Like, like uh, let's see. All right. Uh, that, uh, is Zakaria? Uh, yeah, I, that's a familiar name. Uh, we are not here for groups right now. We are here for our filter system. So let's stay on topic here, folks. Uh, please. Um, but the bug that you're describing has already been fixed. So make sure you're on 8.2. Uh, okay. 
Uh, J, are the NSFW and gore filters for explicit things? For example, would a picture depicting blood but no wounds need the gore filter or just content warnings? Um, you can go ahead, if it's, I mean, if it's just blood, it, you know, that one is more so a little bit, you know, up to your discretion, but to where, where it's like, okay, a, con a creator spoiler would probably fix what you're talking about or, you know, work with what you're talking about because gore is definitely, there's, there's definitely gore versus just a little, little blood, you know, and that's why we made the creator spoiler because it kind of, it kind of falls underneath that, you know? Um, I'll be submitting uh, the box for the questions in a couple of seconds. So um, in a couple of minutes, I just want to go over the chat stuff uh, before, because I know I talked for a very long time. So, uh, yeah. uh, Do content warnings work like, uh, work like tags regarding searches, by the way? Um, they do. Yeah, they do. Yeah. So they, they, they're also, I, I don't want to, I don't want to say that, like, and put that, you know, in an article or anything like that, but it's more like a, you know, that's definitely something that, that works in the background, if that makes sense. Um, it, it, it definitely does come up, but it's not, content warnings are not for discoverability, you know what I mean? It's not for searchability stuff. Um, so, you know, again, they are separate things, but you can go ahead and, and kind of put that. Um, so I, I know I'm skipping. Z uh, Zombugs, I know you said, um, I know you said, you said, would swears and curse words need a creator spoiler? I figure like excessive use might be PG-13 movies usually allow like one swear. Um, so we actually use, when it comes to the gore and stuff like that, um, and like content that is, you know, more of not, so artwork, I'm not saying content is artwork, I'm saying it's more so the, like the writing and the discussion, so the content of the posts, like the description and, and stuff, so swear words and things like that, um, that we use the same, um, what do you call it? <sighs> we use the same rules or I guess guidelines as video games. So uh, PG-13 does include swear words and things like that. So you'll you wanna follow that and you know, that's a link that I have put in the discord very often while, while, while we've been making inkblot. Um, so when it comes to like cartoonish blood or gore and things like that, um, that's PG 13. Um, and, and the site is 16 plus. So, I mean, if you feel uncomfortable with the, you know, the swear words and, and everything in your posts, you can go ahead and put the creator spoiler and you can have it so that it mentions that. Okay. Um, let's see. A picture is worth a thousand words. Three warning descriptors is not asking for too much from people. I have had folks say differently. So I, I just, I just, I do want to make known, um, what about weirdly colored blood? Like how they censor things in, uh, I, I mean, you, you can definitely, we definitely still like, if it's like, even if you had weird colored blood, like it's, if it's like an eye injury or things like that, like we still understand that it's blood. So, um, you know, there's not really a difference here. Um, as long as it's not like, you know, you could, like I said, the gore and this, the creator spoiler are kind of the two things that you can lean on when it comes to that. Um, but you do need to make known, like, like one of the, one of the questions we had for gore filter was somebody saying that they had like a, it was like a blueberry pie or something like that. Some pie or cherry pie that made it seem like the character had a lot of blood on them. And it was, it was really cool, but it was like, it was fake blood, but from the food. So it was like, you can still put fake blood in it, but I would use more so of a creator spoiler because it's not technically blood, but I think that the gore still kind of follows up depending on like how intense this piece is. So um, it's not really a blanket statement that I can give you for everything. Um, again, it's, it's really case by case. So if you're unsure, you can go ahead and just use the creator spoiler, especially if it's not like open wounds and guts and stuff like that. So, um, you know, again, there's, there's the, there's gore and then there's just like a little, little scrape, a little bit of blood, you know what I mean? So, um, I'm not too well versed with the gore, um, to be honest, um, you know, personally, uh, I don't, I don't read or watch gore or, or, or look at it. I, I don't like it. Um, I worked in a hospital for five years, um, and I, I did not enjoy it, um, looking at that stuff, but it, you know, I was a pre-med track, so, 
um, you know, as much as I didn't enjoy it, I had to I had to look at it. I'm also a registered EMT, so of course I've looked at quite a quite a few, quite a bit. Um, so I've seen some things. Do I want to see some things, some some of those things on my leisure time? No. So I'm not too well versed with the gore <laughs> because I don't like looking at it because I worked in the hospital for too long. So um, some of that stuff does still affect me. Um, so I don't like looking at gore. So I don't know the levels of gore, but I do know that the creator spoiler has helped some folks with uh, giving, uh, having it so that, you know, it's not automatically labeled as gore, if that makes sense. Uh, okay, so picture, yeah, so the three warning descriptors, not asking for too much is what Miss Wolven says. Yeah, I know, again, we've had some folks say that it is. So, um, and I, again, this is here for me to give up a tutorial and, and discussion and also, you know, help folks understand, like, we're not asking for a lot. It's very broad. Um, just let me know what I'm going to see when I pull the curtain back, please. That's all that we're asking for. Um, specificity would help with that, I think. Yeah. Those hashtag optimizers are from Tumblr. Where you use where you use hashtags like they are essays or poems. Um yeah, yeah, we we uh we have it we do have it so that you can write out your thoughts in the hashtags if that's what you prefer. Um I used to use uh Tumblr back in my day, but um you know I wasn't I wasn't a I wasn't a hashtag or I wasn't a tag um a tag talker. So um, it's not really something that <laughs> not really something that I'm used to, but I do see some folks do write a little bit of an, a poem or essay in the, in the tags. Um, we don't really care too much about that, but don't don't put that in the content warnings. Um, you need to be more specific. You know, you need to be more descriptive in your stuff uh, for content warnings for hashtags. That's up to you again, like how you want your work to be discovered. If you want to use hashtags as poems and essays, and that's up to you. Um, that would be very hard to search, very hard to look for, I will tell you that, but that's up to you. Um, it's just three words as descriptors. Look at your piece and how would you describe what's happening? If you can come up with more than three words, then the tag should be no problem. Yeah, the content warning should be no problem, exactly. And like I, like I mentioned, pe some people, they've, they, I can look at their hashtags and I'm like, you describe this right here like you know what i mean um some you know content warnings can also include like okay well th this is fan art of like i don't know peach and mario I, I don't know i'm not a mario fan but i'm just saying it like i'm opening this fan art piece or you know this sensitive media of peach and mario i want to know what's back there tell me that it's peach and mario maybe i'm not interested in that so you can put peach x mario that's literally another one that that is literally another one uh for content warning it's, it's literally a description of the post i mean it's not alt text no don't don't explain it like that but it, it is like what am i expecting back here <laughs> what is this i know some people don't want to see nsfw of their favorite game or their favorite piece so maybe putting um you know mario or whatever it is that you got um there so yeah, that, that's just another one. That's a, Again, it's very broad with these content warnings, but just tell me what I got back here. Like, tell me what's back behind this curtain. <sighs> okay, uh, let's see. I feel like this would depend on the artwork itself. Gore, to me, is guts, heavy blood, mutilation, and the like, without going into detail. It's deaf safe to mark things with the warnings just to be safe. It is. Um, I think that needs a little explanation below the content warnings uh, so people don't accidentally use these words in their tags. Yeah, no, for sure. That's definitely something that we're, we got to do. Also, to, uh, let's see. A tutorial during the upload process would be great for new users. Yeah, so we've also gotten this um, suggestion as well. and we, be, we will be doing that. Um, and I'll show you what I have in, what I have in mind. Um, and then we'll also go ahead and do like a tutorial pop-up um, when you mark your account 18 plus, um, just to let everyone know how that works. Um, and that's pretty much how that will go. So yes, that is a suggestion that we've had. Would you say phrases are good in addition to descriptor, descriptor words? Um, I mean, you, you can, it's just that again, those content warnings also can be muted by users. So it's like, I would, if you have a, a specific word that can be used, 
like human or furry or, you know, um, you know, dragon or things like that, or a specific word for a kink, you, people can, can go ahead and automatically mute those things. Or again, like, you know, severed head, uh, you know, uh, guts, you know, heavy wound, things like that, wound or open wound or, you know, bone, exposed bone, things like that for gore. Um, people can mute those. So putting it, putting it in as like a, de, like a, a description, like an alt text type thing. No, would not, would not suggest that. Okay. I see you got your question answered there. Yes, so with NSFW and Gore and the creator spoiler, you'll need three things. Please don't abuse those things. That this is how we are getting to the right audience. We need to make sure that we're, we're our, you know, our work is getting to the right people. Is it possible to prevent posting if the NSFW or Gore filters are on and the content warnings aren't filled? With a warning that says posts can be uploaded until acceptable content warnings are included. Correct, yeah. So um, it will say that already. It does that already. Um, so that's something that we already built in. Um, I can't make this. So as soon as you hit one of these three, so the NSFW, the Gore, and the con con Creator Spoiler, as soon as you hit those three and this box is here, you have to have, um, have, you have to have three. Three of these tags. There's no way if I do if I try to do that. Let me see if I upload here. All right. So if I upload here and I only have two, it says minimum content warning three. So obviously we need to take the tags out, but minimum it does prevent you from doing that. I think perhaps something Inkplot can do to ease the confusion is make a visual distinction between the Inkplot bo bo boxes. Will maybe a CSS background color of the content warnings could be a dull red? Yeah, I could see that. I, I would have to just kind of research what would be nice um, because not, you know, that that's definitely, you know, the UI needs to be nice looking and things like that. Um, but that, that is a good, that is a good, good, uh, that is a good, uh, that is a good suggestion. Um, and, and I know that we do need to go ahead and start putting, making these placeholder texts a little bit better, uh, making, uh, putting like a little descriptor above here, like, you know, above the hashtags, like, okay, here's your hashtag input, things like that. Um, just like how we have here, it says description. It tells you what, what this box is for. Like, okay, what's this box for? Things like that. Personally, I'd like to indicate mood before, uh, regarding gore, like if it's harsh or comedy or tragic or gr gratuitous violence. Okay. Sorry, just reading through these a little bit. Even if it's going to happen, you're actively showing it. It's constant work. Constant learning practice, okay, 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 have you seen how hostile? Uh, yeah, I'm sorry, but after seeing how hostile kids are on Twitter, I definitely want an adult space, right? And we definitely want to be able to accommodate anybody that wants to, you know, have an audience, a specific audience for just adults and things like that. So um, even though we are 16 plus, which is not, I mean, it's not a lot of people, you know, not a lot of users are 16 or 17 on our website. Um, but it is growing. I do see some folks that are, you know, that are 16 and 17. And even though we don't allow anybody under those ages, um, it, you know, it is, it is still good, um, to, you know, it is still good to have the option for folks to be able to, you know, only have adults as their op uh, audience. That's completely up to you. Okay. Let's see. There's not honestly a win-win for that. Some folks act childish while some teens act more adult. Very true. Um, yeah. I see you guys with the J2. I feel like I'm never gonna live that down. <laughs> I don't know about the switch account. Oh yeah, you didn't. Yeah, our switch account feature is there, so for sure. Uh, 
I know a few artists who keep their comics and artwork separate. Yes, that is a good point as well. That is very good, true. That's very true. How dare you have rules? I don't know what to say. Just check, uh, like, can content warnings work in the search? For yes, I answered that, yes. And badges make me giddy to post. Yes, I'm glad. We're, we're trying to get that whole system working. We just implemented that before we had the whole rush of people. Um, so it, it is still very new. Um, so there is some bugs that we definitely have to work out, um, but we will be adding more. Uh, I like your content guidelines, but even if I didn't, that's not a reason to harass people. I don't know what to say about it. I mean, it, it happens. Definitely get quite a few nasty emails. Uh, if your profile pic is taken from an NSFW pic, but the part in the profile pic is nothing explicit, is that okay? E yes, but, you know, it. it you, let's not... No, no fluids okay like you know let's 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 keep it real <laughs> let's keep it safe for work you know <laughs> i understand what you mean but you know nothing explicit nothing crazy it needs to be safe for work we, we do i do understand it it can be suggestive but as long as it's suggestive and not like you know making me think that you know it's nsfw then yeah you're fine uh we won't lock your account out like like uh, like Twitter does when you have somebody with their their tongue out. <laughs> okay, so uh, we talked about that with the swear words. We have talked about the cartoony blood. Yep. Thanks, King, with that. I do, yeah, I do see you in here kind of helping out here. I think you appreciate that. You as well, Roland. Thank you. See you, Scourge. Thanks for coming through. Would you consider drowning as gore if there's no visible injuries in underwater? Should I add the tag? I mean, that would be a creator spoiler. I think that that would probably go good. Yeah, I think King said the same thing. I probably do with the creator spoiler for a drowning type thing, um, because that that's quite that's also a little bit um, interesting topic for some folks that don't want to see that. Um, similar in the way that I'm okay with most gore moths, perhaps you're not being a single blanket label. Yeah, yeah, NSFW is not just for explicit stuff, so you know it, it definitely has a wide range of things um, that I don't want to just say on stream because you know. It's not, it's not necessary for me to do that. Um, it's NSFW as a wide range of topics. It's not just about explicit media. What about fan art for sp our spoilers? Um, spoilers for fan art are fan art that are spoilers. So we have to add the, you can, I mean, it, it's definitely up to you. I mean, we're not gonna moderate the, the spoilers for fan art. Like no one can report you for spoiling them. I mean, that sucks, but. You know, if, if you spoil the person and they were watching Dragon Ball Z episode, whoever, and you spoiled them, you know, we can't, the team can't do anything about that. I'm sorry. The creator spoiler is just for those that, you know, again, you can use it for the in-between stuff or the things you're not sure about um, that don't follow, follow, fall underneath NSFW or Gore. But, you know, the, the comic stuff and the fan art and the, you know, the shows, the movies, if you want to talk about a spoiler, um, or, you know, an episode you just saw and not everybody has seen that episode or not everyone has seen that movie, um, then yeah, you can, you can throw that spoiler on, so. Oh, I think they're trolling. Oh, maybe. <laughs> does it mute the artist who uses them or does it mute the art that uses, does it mute the artist who uses them or just the art who has those? I don't understand your question there. How would you describe artistic nude drawings like those where the character is clearly nude but nothing is showing? So that's already in our content guidelines tax fraud. You're going to want to go take a look at 
the, what we define uh, explicit nudity um, versus artistic nudity, you just really want to go ahead and, and take a look at our content guidelines. Um, it does explain and, and already say that uh, explicit uh, media or you know uh, s sexual nudity or things like that. Basically, I don't think that's even a word, but um, basically, it's invoking a uh, or stimulation or response. Okay. I would still use the, I mean, you know, it really just depends on your audience, right? Like you, you need to, some, some people can, you can, you can have it so that it mutes the artistic nudity. So you'll use the creator spoiler, but you know, if your general, gen, general posts do have artistic nudity in it and your audience already kind of sees that and knows it, then yeah, maybe you'll, you'll feel comfortable not using that spoiler. So, you know, um, but it's uh, for for us it's not required uh, i don't know how to make you a mod um king but i'm definitely trying to work on that <laughs> uh okay uh always appreciate the help community helping community for sure yes so thank you for your help with that king don't worry, Jay, it's a smiling face, but I was planning on posting the whole pic afterwards somewhere, so I was feeling unsure if I would get reported. Oh, okay, yeah, no problem. I'm not worried about that. I hope people uh, stop being disgusting in emails. Yeah, I, I hope so too. <laughs> Some people really like to complain and start issues. They do, but you know, um, I, I, I like to protect the team. I, I take on those emails myself and, um, you know, um, they certainly aren't a priority once I figure out what they're what they're doing, which is AKA wasting my time. Um, <laughs> if we're being quite frank, <laughs> don't don't waste my time trying to um, budge the content guidelines when they're not budging. If you start adding educational to your tags for streams, you can talk about more stuff without worry. But Twitch doesn't like explicit new NSFW to be talked about in detail or harm being brought to one. Oh, okay. Yeah, I will. Uh, I guess I'll do that. I'm so sorry. I didn't even know. I'm so new to this. I've heard about news sites having people get on their case about mature content too. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, it's just uh, just something like that. Oh, I can do that? Uh, do that. Is that how you do it? If you're modding someone else, you can just do oh slash mod. Oh, that's pretty. That's pretty nifty. Is that gonna do it? Um, with the capitalize. Okay. Maybe it does it. I don't know if it did it. Okay, cool. Sword. Gotcha. Okay. Um, basically, yeah. So we'll get you modded in a second. Okay, now uh, I gotta go. Okay, have a good one. Uh, half joking. Okay, tech squad. Have a good, nice rest of your day. Half joking. Um, okay. It's okay. I know nothing about Twitch either. I really don't. <laughs> Twitch has its own language. It does. All right, folks. Um, let me get let me get this uh, question box submitted, and then uh, you know. Uh, we'll just, we'll just, uh, I'll, I'll show you the tutorial thing that I have in mind that it doesn't, it doesn't do what we're talking about here tonight, but it does, uh, it is a good example of what that can look like. And, um, if you guys like that, I said J number two, that's the joke. Oh, okay. So sorry. Text fraud. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I understand J number two. Um, alrighty then, uh, let me get that box going for you guys. And then we'll wrap it up after a few questions, okay? So let's just get this going. Okay, and... 
Okay, and just uh, just again, just make sure that we're staying on topic here. This is regarding the um, NS, uh, NSFW gore and creator spoiler filter, so the inkblot filter system, okay? Just make sure we're staying on topic. This is not for questions. It's not a bug report uh, area. Just make sure we're staying on topic so we can accomplish what we're doing here today. Um, and basically, yeah, that's what we need to do. Stop to create a okay, new Q&A block. All right. And we'll get a new thing going on here. Quickly add page inside. Nope. I just want to add another one. Okay, so we got the uh, filter system uh, QA. QA and uh, slash discussion. So you can put topics in here. If I missed your question or anything like that, please, please, please don't feel um, like I'm ignoring you or anything. I just trying to make sure that we're uh, we're doing it. We're doing a good thing here, and uh, I'm gonna pin this. Remember to check out our content. I'm gonna pin this message. Thanks, Roland, for that. And we only got. We'll do that. Okay, manually unpin at the end of the stream. Okay, so we have our content guidelines there. So if anyone takes want to take a look, uh, you, you can ask questions about things and maybe need clarification. And if you need clarification on something, then I'm sure other people do too. So please, please, please let me know. Um, you know what's the clarification that you're looking for. Um, so that I can answer it, and maybe that might be something that um, that that somebody else has been asking. So that when we do update the content guidelines to add clarifications, not add new things or to remove anything, but just kind of rewording things, because I myself am not a technical writer, so I know that there's somebody that could write it much better than me and get the same point across. Um, so yeah, let's see. Um, let me get this going here, and we'll go ahead and okay. Enable reply. Allow anonymous message. Let's see. I'm trying to see if we can get. Oh yes, it's just a, it's just a Google. Okay, so sorry about this. I just want to make sure I'm using the right service. So this will be a Google form, and then anybody can. Um, that way everything's private. Usually the uh, the ax box is not private, but um, we're gonna make it so that it's private this time. <sighs> okay, so that's that. Uh, Inkblot filter system Q and A. Q and A, and then this is the 26th of November. Boy, does time fly. Okay, here we go. Alrighty then. All right, so um, again, make sure that it is required for you to put your Inkbot username or the link to your profile. Um, as mentioned before, uh, the reasons why. Uh, so sorry. Uh, I'm not gonna when I ask the question or when I say the question or the answer or anything like this from this box. Um, there won't be any. Um, there won't be any. Uh, I won't be saying your username or anything like that. I just need to make, verify and make sure that you have an account on the website, okay? So this will be, that's that form. I just put the form right there in the chat. So if you wanna use it, um, go ahead, uh, ask your question, ask your, you know, have a topic um, and, and go ahead and, and do that, okay? Um, and again, it, it will be anonymous in the sense that I know that you're a part of the website, but I won't be saying your username to the chat or on the stream. So you can ask your questions freely without me saying anything, okay? Um, but yeah, so that's how we'll do that. I'll give a I'll give a couple of minutes to do that, and I'll just show you what I got. Let me see. Okay, so let's see. I think um, if we go here. Okay, so this is our info site. So while I'm waiting for folks to, if you have a question or whatever, what have you, um, go ahead and, and put that in there. Uh, kitty, no, don't do that. Um, and yeah, so you can shoot a shoot a name, uh, shoot a response in there. But for right now, I'm just gonna go over here, show you what that tutorial thing is. Also, I'm gonna promote this very nice landing page, or I think it's very nice that I made for the uh, about section. I've been using this landing page since Inkblot started. Um, absolutely, has been. Uh, 
a long time coming. <laughs> so um, we have our landing page, inkblotapp.info, and basically that is where you can find all the info about the team. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and make that so that you can see it on the actual website. We used to have, um, or we have currently a very um, weird looking about us page. Didn't put too much uh, effort into it because it was like, you know, uh, we had this landing page, so, <laughs> um, but yeah. This new landing page shows you everything about Inkblot. Um, it tells you about what we're trying to do and what it's trying to accomplish. Um, it has all of our social links um, as well. And then also it has this product demo, which I'm about to show you because that's the, that's the thing that we'll be using for the tutorial system. Um, that people have suggested. It also tells you our timeline, basically what happened and you know how it started and basically you know the things that we used, uh, talking about our Kickstarter, some achievements that we made um, with Inkblot and basically what's going on today. So um, I do keep this uh, up to date and obviously that's me. So um, it just kind of shows you like my name and you know what's my title in the company and then also uh, what I do on the side and, and things like that. You know, obviously being founder of Inkblot is not my only thing. So, you know, um, you can find all of my socials here, like my LinkedIn, my tw my coding Twitter, um, my personal Instagram that I've had for years, um, and then obviously my GitHub and my uh, Inkblot profile. And yes, Card does have Inkblot on there, so um, you'll be able to see that. Um, you can, if you add your Inkblot to your card, you can go ahead and add that right there. And it has our icon for you to be able to add it, which is awesome. Um, this is our team here. Um, so we have Harper that uses any pronouns, an artist um, for our support team, and not for our support team, but an artist that is a part of our support team. Um, and then we also have Madeline uh, uses she, her pronouns. Uh, we have, they are also on our support team. They are the 3D artists. We have Ren who is uh, uses they, them pronouns, and they are also on the support team and an artist. And we have Angel, um, who is our newest on board. Um, Ren was a moderator for us um, and has now become a part of the support team. Uh, we have Angel, who is our newest on the team um, and is now part of support team as well. And she is a artist and uses she, they pronouns, okay? Um, this also mentions our moderator team, which is volunteer based. Um, I, I don't find it quite necessary to put um, the moderators' names out there. They, they are there. Um, you, they do answer the reports and everything like that. Um, but they are volunteers um, and, you know, definitely still a part of our team, but, you know, not necessarily have to, uh, you need to know who's who's actually, who, who you, you know, what your donations and what your uh, subscriptions and memberships are actually, who they're paying so that the staff is different from the moderator team that's volunteer based. Support team and the dev team are the only people that get paid and fit in the budget. I do not get paid. I'm not looking for money until this thing is completely off the ground. Um, I've been doing this for two and a half years. At this point, it's considered a passion project, so I'm not even worried about that. Um, so our moderator team is volunteer based. Um, and currently we have, it's not three anymore, but um, after next week it will, or during next week, it'll start being way more than that. So um, we're, we're, I'm looking for 10, uh, up to 10 moderators um, and getting that going. Um, here you can also find our policies and our guidelines. Um, just kind of a little bit of blurb about here about saying, you know, uh, this is this is where we're at as a business. Like, you know, this is what we're supposed to be doing. We're supposed to be doing this as a business, as a platform, um, and that's what we're doing here. And then uh, obviously we have uh, our link to our where our content guidelines are, but then we also have this nice little area where you can find all of our stuff. Um, and then our brand kit. If you need any of the Inkblot uh, logos or you need any of the Inkblot icons, um, the brand kit will tell you and have everything there for you. And it shows you what our color, what our uh, hex color codes are for our company here. And it shows you, it tells you about you know how to use our ink, how how to use our icon, um, and what we're asking for when uh, giving you these files. So there is a little Google Drive folder that you can find all of those files, with the, like the logo, the icon, the word mark, and everything else like that. So that's where everything's at. Okay, and then uh, let's see. All right, and then it just goes over briefly about what of our biggest uh, what of our biggest guidelines are, and that is Inkblot is sixteen plus, like I said. Um, you also it also mentions that we are absolutely have a zero tolerance for AI NFTs or crypto stuff. We don't believe in it. We don't want it. We won't do it ever. I don't want that stuff uh, on this site. I don't want it near it. I don't want it touching it. 
even in our terms of service, it is there and clarifies that if you post links to services that have NSF NFTs or things like that, um, we are not going to allow that and it can be reported. Um, so please do not post those things on this website. Thank you. Um, we have uh, Safe for Work, uh, Gore, and NSFW stuff. And erotic and explicit, I do mention that because I do know that uh, Tumblr was playing footsie with um, the whole erotic and suggestive uh, labels and people were getting confused. Um, erotica and uh, explicit are actually different things. Um, suggestive um, and, you know, stuff versus explicit is also very different to, to uh, terms and different things as well. So, um, you know, you, you can't you can't mix those up. Playing footsie. Yes, that's, yes, I'm so sorry. <laughs> footsie, a good way of putting it. I mean, yeah, you guys are, you guys are ripping me up. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, yeah, but um, yeah, you know, it basically, that's what they were doing. I mean, you know, they kept, it, it was like, it was like back to back weeks of people being like, Tumblr is allowing NSFW. And then the next week they're not. And then they're, yes, they are. And it's like, okay, you need to read and understand the actual terms that they're putting. But I also say they're playing footsie because, um, you know, they know what they're doing. They know that they should say things explicitly and, and put in terms and use the correct language. But it's another marketing thing for them. So, um, but they already made it very clear. Their CEO already mentioned that they aren't going to do that. So, um, but yeah. Um, but yeah, definitely, you know, before diving into uh, Inkblot, you want to read our content guidelines um, even before signing up. So if you're new here, you're, you're just finding out about Inkblot, make sure that you read our content guidelines. You should make sure we work for you. Um, and if we don't, you know, fine. Fine, you know, and if you did make an account and you're just figuring out that we don't allow, that we don't have the content that you're looking for or whatever you're looking for, really, um, you know, uh, you can delete your account. It's right there in the settings. Feel free, completely up to you. You do not need to email us. You do not need to talk to us about it. Um, just you can exit stage left whenever you like. Okay, so this is what I was here for, the product demo, this thing that I spent uh, some time doing besides this whole landing page. Um, and it just shows you a little thing. Um, it has little annota annotations. Um, and I figured that this would be great to have for um, the tutorial when you first get an account or before you start posting. Uh, something that you can dismiss, of course. Um, and then also another area would be like the 18 plus toggle, We're marking your account as 18 plus. Um, yes, that, that's, that's definitely something that we can add this little pop up here um, and have it so that, you know, when you click around on this, um, it kind of has those little notes and things and it kind of like shows you a little walkthrough and things like that. Um, and it does that for you. Um, and it's just a little video. Um, you can look at this video on your free time. I, I did make, I did add some time on there. Um, <laughs> I'm proud of it. <laughs> so of course I want to show it off on stream. Um, but it does mention how to make a post, how to make your first post on Inkblot and, uh, what you can do, um, to do that and how it looks. Um, just in case you're curious, um, about what, how the process looks. So it just does this little thing. But anyway, this is the little tool that I wanted to show you all to say that, you know, Hey, this is what this looks like. Um, and you know, basically how we'll add that tutorial that, uh, that a few folks have been suggesting um, and we'll try to make it like this and uh, obviously a little bit quicker. I mean, this is just me kind of going through everything and you know how Inkblot works. This is a generic tutorial about everything. So of course it's gonna go through the whole spiel and, and everything. And I know most of you already know what's going on here. So um, it just does this. So anyway, so this is what that looks like and something that we'll add to the site and put it in the code and stuff like that. <clears throat> huh, yeah, you definitely should follow some of the artists on here. Um, it, it's uh, the, the one in the beginning was uh, Sea Salt Shrimp and then obviously um, this artist here, um, which it'll show the artist name in just a second. And this is Avian Fay. Uh, another one that's a really another good follow and uh, obviously everyone is a good follow but I can only put just a few artists in this little tutorial <laughs> so you'll definitely want to um, you know definitely want to check out all of these artists on here um, and creators and stuff and, and it, it does help out it's really cool to see everyone uh, using Inkblot and, or just a lot of people using Inkblot and seeing all the cool works for sure so um, 
but yeah anyway so this this is the little video part it goes through a whole video it shows you this and everything else like that but again this is what the tool i want to use for the um uh, for the tutorials um, because you know not only is this stream like uh, for education of like you know how to use the site and how to use our filter system but it's also me just letting you know that we are aware that you know we do have some things that we need to improve on and there's some areas that we need to add some things to make this more clear and a little bit more um, helpful for everyone that's trying to understand um, Inkblot as a whole as a new user. Um, I do um, want to mention that, you know, from a dev perspective, it's really hard for me to be a new user because I am the dev and I'm the creator. So I can't really understand like, okay, why, why isn't this clicking? Like what's going on here? Um, but you know, it's, it's definitely because I am the creator. <laughs> it makes sense to me and it's all in my head and it's really hard to explain. So, um, you know, you want to, I, we, we ask for so much feedback and we ask for suggestions and I'm doing these streams to kind of like show you, okay, so this is what's in my head. If I could explain it without having like a, like a 280 word tweet or, uh, you know, like a discord message, then here's what I'm thinking of. And then I get to see everyone in chat mention, okay, well, this is how I see it. And this is what I think. And this is how I explain it. And that's really cool to see because I, you know, again, as the creator, I have no idea what it looks like from your perspective. Like you guys are the users and I'm the creator and I just don't really understand like what's not clicking, but you, you're, you guys mentioning, you know, what's, what's being, what's not clicking or how, you know, how you would explain these things is kind of, is very helpful. Um, and that's, that's super important to me. Jay is the guy explaining Google to his elderly grandfather who thinks he can magically fix a hole in the printer. And very true. Very true. <laughs> okay, let's take a peek. Uh, let's see, we got a couple of responses in here. Okay. Let's see. All right, a few familiar names already here. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's, that's one way of putting it, yeah. Okay, so we have, uh, will it be possible to suggest content warnings or filters to other people's art um, like Danburu or Itaku? Frankly, some people be slipping. They do, they do. Um, I think that we've had this discussion um, with some folks and they have mentioned having it so that people can suggest things um uh suggests like tags and stuff like that um then you know we also had to look at it from a moderator perspective like you know okay hey you know what's uh you know what if people start using this as a way to harass folks or anything like that so it definitely has to be something that is optional for the creator um and just allowing it so that you know if you're okay with people suggesting tags, then that would be great. Um, but I don't know if I would see this in the immediate future, but definitely something that we would consider. Um, I think it might be on the suggestion board. Um, you might wanna go to feedback.inkblot.art and that will, maybe someone has suggested that I think they have. Um, I look at that board so often, but I can't remember everything on it, um, but I think someone has, has mentioned that. So that was a great question. Okay, and then Uh, so Inkblot does have a merch store. Um, I know we're supposed to be on topic here, but no worries. I do like to mention the merch store. I'm finishing up. I, I have the... Uh I have to uh, finish the, the pins and the coffee cups for um, the Kickstarters. Um, I'm just missing those things and I don't want to do anything else with the merch or anything until I've complete those. Um, and that's that's pretty much it. Otherwise, uh, all the stickers that we have for our sticker club will be on the merch store and everything else. All the leftovers from the Kickstarter stuff will be up there. Um, and yes, it, that will be another source of revenue um, to keep Inkblot moving forward and keep it su and to support it. So yes, you can can uh, view our merch store. It's literally just shop.inkblot.art. Um, it's closed right now. So again, you know, not something that you can go ahead and shop with, but I will announce again once we have it um, so that folks can do that. Uh, pro, uh, pro members and everyone else uh, on the Patreon and the Ko-Fi will get discount codes for anything on the merch store. Um, and of course, you know, that's, that's how that works. So yes, we do have a merch store. Um, thank you for bringing that up. <laughs> Uh, 
so this was okay. So this question is actually a mix of the other one. Uh, no, no one can add tags or content warnings to the post. Um, not at the moment. Uh, it's definitely something that you know we'll look into and, and get a whole suggestion and, and feedback from from the community um, because it you know it is definitely something that uh, I know other websites do it, um, but it's not something that I know that you know I don't really know enough research about that, and I also want to see what the community thinks about that. Okay, give me one second here. And again, um, if you have a question or you want a topic discussed, um, this is the time to do it. Uh, I will go ahead. It's the last few minutes of the, or, you know, last couple of 15 minutes of the stream. So you'll want to go ahead and uh, you can ask questions about other things if you so want. Um, you know, uh, but, you know, again, it, I do prefer to see the questions or topics about the filter system. Um, so go ahead and, and, but you can also use that form uh, for the, uh, for other questions that you might have. Sorry, I'm a little quiet. I'm just reading this one. This one is a little, a little long. This is impressive. I'm not gonna lie. This is very impressive. Uh, it, the length of this of this question uh, or submit submission is actually impressing me. How did you type this fast? Okay, so this submission was talking about um, um, this submission was talking about having uh, with the gore um, having like a minimum or specified uh, like examples, um, and uh, and I do think that that's definitely something that would help out. Um, I just don't like I said I don't know enough about gore and the intensities of it because it's not something that I look at or or consume, so. Um, it's the, uh, I would definitely need some interesting, an interesting list of this. Um, but um, things for gore is definitely like detached body parts, guts, severed heads, limbs, things like that. Like stuff that would make you like make other people squeamish that like you should be in the hospital for if that's what, you know, we're going about. Um, but this, uh, this, this submission also mentions about having like a preset list or su like tags, uh, not tags, content warnings to suggest. Um, so like, like that list I just mentioned, um, things like that, that that would be, um, something that we could add in a list and then also still allow the creator to have a, 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 a free text input to add. Uh, some more custom tags just in case that list is not uh, of course it won't be exhaustive um, it'll just be just here's some things that you could add and you know that way you don't have to think so much or think too hard about what you're doing here and you know about which one to use and things like that so I mean that that's definitely a great suggestion um, with the NSFW it'll be a little bit harder we would have to have a separate database for that <laughs> which is gonna be super hard because I, I don't know uh, you know how many people uh, mention this particular uh, topic or subject or kink. Um, 
Um, but yeah, th- that that's definitely something that we can do, and it's something that um, that we mentioned at our assess- accessibility um, live stream that we would go ahead and have like a preset list for some uh, triggers, like uh, you know. Uh, Ter- terpophilia, I think that's what it's called, or tripophilia, um, things like a, you know, a flash warning, things like that. Like that would be preset list for the um, creator spoiler and things like that. Right, right, and we would just have it. Yeah, I think I think that you know it's definitely that, that's why we're having this live stream, right? This because we're trying to figure out how like, how can we make this work because the filter system is is literally. It is literally the most important thing for a plot. It is it is like the bread and butter of this entire website. Um, you know the comparison feature is cool. You know um, you know being able to add things like you know having the alternate dashboard and everything like that's all really cool and that's all really great. Um, but you know the filter system is 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 our bread and butter for this website. So we we definitely aren't changing it we are trying to figure out what can we do to improve it what can we do to help new users understand it um and what what can we do to um to continue to do uh to continue to keep that system around because it's it's definitely um it, i'm not going to say it's entirely unique but it definitely is um it's it's a little different um but yes this Suggestion for the preset, um, the preset list, um, and pre and suggested warnings. This is a great idea. Um, it's definitely something that uh, we mentioned doing with the accessibility um, at the accessibility live stream. Um, but I wouldn't see an issue with having it so that we have one for the uh, um, uh, for the NSFW, the gore, and the creator spoilers. So um, just to kind of give a people idea of what. Uh, of what what we're asking for, what we're looking for with these filters, you know, when you apply these content warnings. Um, so I think this is a, this is a great idea. Um, it's something that you know we can obviously do uh, pretty much right away, um, and I hope that that would help out a lot. Uh, let me see. I think we got one more just now. Um, could you have a list? Uh, over previous used content warnings, it could be easier just in a database. This would probably so yeah. This is more of like a this is a little bit more intense of a query. So we would have to have like a suggestion. Um, it would still be like database query um, things and tools that we would need to do something like this. Um, but yeah, no, it would definitely it would definitely be uh, easier and you know, it's easier. What I see a database. Um, Particularly, it's just a, it's just a little list in our database. It really wouldn't be that much. And um, from the admin side, we'd be able to add more to that list to show up um, and, and go from there. So I mean, it's really not that not that intense. Okay, so let's see. Uh, just looking at chat here again. When will the appearance of J2? You guys are not going to let me live that down. I think I'm pretty satisfied with the filter system so far. Like, further questions come when people know how to use it. Okay. Uh, honestly, with how in depth you got, I personally don't have anything else to add on. It could help with the topic should it ever arise. That's awesome. I'm glad that that's, that's how you feel after this tutorial and stream. I think the filter system is pretty straightforward. Thank you. Wow, the feedback board got a lot of stuff on it. Yeah, it sure does. <laughs> I'm trying to just uh, I'm trying to make sure that it, it stays um, monitored and stuff um, because you know there definitely is uh, you know some uh, it definitely is some uh, suggestions that deviate from the mission of the problem that we're trying to solve here. So you know it's it's definitely most of the time it's it's just suggestions and feedback um, about what we currently have. Um, and then obviously there's also suggestions where like things that we don't have and that we could do. I would say the same is pretty straightforward. Great. Jokes aside, I have no further questions myself, but I am here to help any members that have questions about the server. Awesome. Uh, him, there's a scrape and then there's a slash movie. <laughs> All right. Um, if it's my, 
Oh, you, oh, okay, okay, I got you. <laughs> it was very, I was very impressed. I was very impressed. I was like, wow, it was just a couple of minutes I looked away. <laughs> I, think, I do think it could be good to have a baseline of what counts as NSFW or Gore. Like, I know what Mastodon servers recommend that if it's an image that has triple B, then to stick a content warning on it. I've never heard that before. That's NC. Imagine, but also what type of baseline search you could come up with. I mean, we do. We do have a baseline. It's on the content warning. Uh, it's on the content guidelines. Um, it's, it's anything that it's supposed to, I mean, invoke an explicit uh, stimulation or response. Um, you know, um, but I mean, that that's a really uh, interesting uh, method, that triple B factor. That's interesting. Yeah, that nobody could complain that they can't come up with three descriptors. Keeps people safe. Very true. Thank you, by the way, for all your hard work. I already love Inkblot so much. Thank you, Miss Miss uh, Wolven. It's gl I'm glad to see your familiar name. I see you on Twitter and things, so that's awesome to see you here. All right, I think I got everything answered. Oh, I'm glad. Uh, my last question uh, it takes a lot of work and dedication to come this far. It does. It's been a long time coming. It really has been, um, uh, you know, uh, two and a half years, almost coming up on three, and it's just been, it's been really tough. But you know, this, the last three weeks have been kind of insane. Um, but I'm glad that there's other people that uh, believe in what we're doing here. What is the cat's name? Uh, so I have Bento. Um, he's asleep right now, uh, and then I have Kinta. He's also asleep. And then I have uh, Setsuna, who's also asleep. <laughs> so <laughs> no, one, no one can answer right now, but I do have three cats. <laughs> it makes me so happy to see all the positive responses. Me too. Please let me know when J2, number two makes an Inkblot account. <laughs> I'd love to follow. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> you guys are too funny. Sleepy kitties, yes, they are very sleepy. <laughs> um, but yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, um, let me check, make sure we got all of everyone's questions answered, topics discussed. All right, and then so this is this will be my last call. So if you have any questions whatsoever regarding anything, even not about the filter system at this point, um, go ahead and uh, pop it in on that form. The form is pinned in the chat here. Um, thank you to our moderator, Roland, the dice here. Um, and yeah, so if you haven't already, make sure you give this channel a follow, please. Um, you don't have to support it uh, in like subscription wise, just follow us because we do have our community town halls and you wanna stay up to date and don't miss those. Um, that's where we go over um, a bunch of stuff in, ter in terms of like finances and, and things like that. Um, we go over like the behind the scenes, what we're working on, um, challenges that we're facing as a team and things like that. So definitely don't want to miss those give us a follow on this channel that's where those are going to happen um and that's where that's where everything happens uh and obviously we always record our live streams uh, or we do the best that we can as long as i remember to hit the record button um and then i share it on our youtube um and you can always find us on our youtube as well um which i do have this pulled up a little bit so this youtube channel so this is our YouTube channel, um, and you can see all of our community discussions and our, our town halls. We have a town hall every quarter um, so that everyone knows uh, what's going on, you know, what's, what's, what's happening here. Um, so that's where you can find all of our videos. Um, I, tr I always add the closed captioning, of course. Um, and um, then, of course, you know, I try to do my best when it comes to anything like that. Uh, you can also see, you know, me with a little bit more hair. Like, you know, obviously I'm here talking about our introduction uh, for the Kickstarter. Um, but anyway, you can see uh, how long we've been uh, doing the videos and things. Um, and then you can give a follow on our YouTube and also, of course, um, there. But uh, if you want to follow us on our socials, that's great. That's a good way to keep up with us. But of course, 
using Inkblot is definitely the best way to keep up with us. And last but not least, joining our Discord. We do have a Discord server, and where can you find that? Hmm, okay, so this thing right here, this thing you'll never see, but this thing right here is where we have all of our stuff, so you'll be able to see where you can find our uh, apps. You'll be able to see where you can find our suggestion board right here, our new user guide, which does need some updating, and I'll be updating that after we have, uh, we had a few suggestions on what needs to be added to that, so it's been great. Um, and then obviously uh, our community Discord, where you'll be able to join our Discord. Um, I'm in there, uh, some of the team is in there, um, and then obviously we have our moderators in there as well, um, Discord moderators. Um, so yeah, so go ahead, give us a, give us a follow on here. Um, wow, that was really quick. How'd you do that? We got all the Patreon, the Ko-Fi and everything. Um, and of course, if you like what we do, give our Ko-Fi a, um, a look at it. Um, please, uh, you know, we are doing this community funded and of course we are definitely, um, you know, trying to make sure that we stay community funded so that these major corporations and greedy, greedy people don't get a hand in our home because they already showed us that they don't know what to do with it and they won't listen to us, so yeah. So, yeah. So anyway, um, so that's how that looks. And uh, you'll want to go ahead and uh, just you know, join our community Discord. That's where you can stay on top of things and everything. Um, you can interact with the community. Um, and yeah, so uh, otherwise, let me take a look here, see if we have any more responses. <laughs> All right, and that's past the three minute mark there. Okay, and then I think we're good to go, folks. I think we're good to go. I think that's everything. Yeah. I've been a Twitch mod for five years. <laughs> okay, so yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, so uh, I forgot the answer to this, but when you turn on the NSFW and Gore filter, you still have to turn on the creator spoiler to have that spoiler, right? Um, yeah, so you, they all work together. You can, you can, you can triple up. You can triple up. You can have the NSFW, you can have the gore, and you can have the creator spoiler. You can triple up and it'll all use the same content warnings. You can triple up if you want. Or you can double up if you want to do the creator spoiler and the NSFW, but, um, I mean, that, that's a lot. Um, so it's up to you, but you can, you can definitely double up on, on triple or double up on those. Uh, yeah, we we have a YouTube channel. Yeah. Yeah. But okay, folks, I think that that's everything. I, I hope I answered everyone's questions. Um, and I'm I'm very thankful um for having a uh, a good chat in here. This was a good chat. Everybody was very very positive and supportive. Um, and you know, it was all good vibes here. And obviously, you know, some folks are, are for critical and honest about what we need to improve on. And I'm very thankful for that. Um, you know, even though I'm looking for obviously, you know, polite and, uh, you know, positive behavior, uh, I do think that you can still like something and be critical of it. Yes, you can. Um, as long as you're just being very, you know, being very polite or being cordial about it, um, you know, definitely your, your question or, you know, your suggestion and your feedback will be uh, taken very well. So, you know, um, using our feedback board, just make sure you're polite. Just make sure, you know, you're polite to everyone, uh, polite to other users, polite to the team. Um, just make sure that, you know, uh, it's just, you can be critical and like something and still give it feedback, okay? Um, so that's 100% fine. Uh, we love the feedback. It definitely, some major things and some major UI changes have been made because of user feedback. Um, like the profiles, honestly, uh, what you see with our profile stuff, honestly had a huge amount of uh, user suggestions and feedback and we literally took it into consideration and made it that way. So that's how serious we are about our feedback as long as it's positive, as long as it's uh, critical and honest and also just being polite, okay? That's all we're looking for. All right, so I'm gonna wrap it up. It's about, been about two hours. Um, give us a follow on this channel and obviously stay up to date if you wanna join us um, in making this, whole, this house a home. So, um, Thank you so much for coming to the stream. You folks have a great weekend, and uh, I definitely will update once we have another uh, Q&A or anything like a live stream like this, okay? So thank you so much. I will see you all out there, and you guys have a great night.